Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN has a cloud-based AI assistant built in. In addition, AI Canvas is Cisco's first generative UI for cross-domain intelligent workspace that brings real-time telemetry, AI insights, and team collaboration into one single view. But what if you must use your own private AI? Or have a very specific scenario where Cisco AI Assistant cannot currently help? Our use case is simple. It's Friday afternoon and Nick, the network administrator, gets a new task to scan his four SD-WAN networks for routers running old or not certified images, check their health, create a summary report in the documentation system, and send out an email with alerts asking to upgrade, including upgrade recommendations. Nick doesn't want to write automation code for this. He used AI to create a Docker image for a custom model context protocol server for his Catalyst sd networks, which will do all the tasks for him. Here's how it works. Nick's AI tool Cloud will generate a new MCP server for Catalyst sd -WAN. Nick will install this MCP server as Docker container on an Ubuntu VM running in his private cloud. Then his private AI, in this case Gemini, will use the new MCP server to run tasks like getting device health and checking software image. MCP server will translate the tasks to API calls and retrieve needed information from SD-WAN network. If needed, the procedure can be repeated for the next SD-WAN overlay. Let's get into details. First, we will see how AI will generate MCP server for SD-WAN. All what we need to do is to use this prompt. No coding skills required. See the full prompt in the video description. Now we let Cloud AI work and generate MCP server for us. We don't have any cuts in this video recording. You see basically the live output. If you don't want to watch the whole MCP server generation, feel free to skip to the next chapter of this video.
All right, let's install now our new MCP server as Docker container. And finally, let's chat with SD-WAN network. First, let's check software version of one specific device. It looks like AI cannot connect to SD-WAN network. It is asking for connection URL and credentials. So let's provide details to the MCP server. Now we see that AI established connectivity successfully, but it looks like we gave wrong device ID number. Let's use AI suggestion, correct our mistake, and check the software version for the device named vbond1. Now let's ask AI to save the output as Notion node into a new Notion project. We use Notion as an example for a communication with a documentation or ticketing system.
And finally, let's see how Gemini, CLI and Gemini will use our MCP server for the network audit. Let's summarize. AI was able to generate an MCP server for SDVAN in less than 10 minutes. All what we had to do was to write a prompt in few sentences, provide API documentation for SDVAN and basic access information. Then we followed AI instructions for the Docker image installation and configured private AI to use our new MCP server. 